Okay, for this next part, what we're going to do is we're going to start tracing things inside of the boxes that we've drawn. Okay, so let's say I want to trace this. And the idea is we're talking about positive and negative space. Positive space is the space that is taken up by an object, like the pair of scissors or the glue bottle. And the negative space is the space around the space that is being taken up around the scissors inside here um, in this part if you have them open or in this part okay around the top of the glue bottle um, in between the clothespin okay and the negative spaces is this little tiny space inside here those are negative spaces and then around the outside on the paper clip okay so Negative space is a space around something. Think about your hand. Your hand is positive space. The space around it is the negative space. Okay, so we want to create interesting positive and negative space. And we could trace these scissors smack in the middle of there, but it's not going to be very interesting. Okay, let's say I wanted to trace them inside here. I could do that, yes, but it's not going to be as interesting as it would be if I were to just trace the tops of it. A couple of times okay it would make people try to guess they wouldn't know exactly what's in that space so they would guess what do I think that is looks interesting okay has interesting positive and negative space and they may be able to guess it they may not okay the idea is also not to trace them smack in the middle of the box but to do it in such a way that maybe we can't fit an empty one in here, we can't fit a whole thing, but rather than just leaving the empty space, I could trace part of one. That, again, makes it more interesting than just leaving it, okay? So we wanna create interesting positive and negative space. I could trace the very tip of the glue bottle over and over and over. Okay. And the idea is, again, to create interesting positive and negative space, we want the paper to kind of stay still. It's wiggling a little bit, but okay, I'm going to end up erasing that little line and we'll just make it come right down. This one is very light for some reason. I guess I didn't press very hard on that one. Okay, now, again, I have an empty space and I can't fit the whole thing, but I'm going to put part of it in that space. So I've got my finger, my pinky, on the paper to try to prevent it from wiggling as I go. Okay, but there you go. And I'm just going to trace what I can in these. Okay, trying to make it interesting. Okay, and if you need somebody to help you hold the paper while you do it, that's fine. But just do your best. Okay, don't get frustrated because it won't hold still. Just do your best. Okay. That one got kind of light too. All right. Let's see. Now, the paper clip can be a tricky one for sure. It definitely wants to wiggle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this end, and I'm going to hold this end down. Okay? So I hold it down really tight with my finger, and then I'm going to trace this part. And then when I trace the other part, I'm going to put my fingers on this end. I can erase that part. Kind of slid there. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, make sure my fingers are out of the way for that one. Okay. Let's 
and move my fingers. Okay. I can do two more times. And I'm gonna move my fingers to this end. One more time. The idea is to fill the space, okay, to get all of your things drawn on there, and to fill the space, and then to keep it interesting. Okay, so we want to do both of those things. We want to fill the space and keep it interesting. So we're going to fill all of these boxes with our shapes. Okay, so I have a few more left. I'm going to go ahead and do that. You guys go ahead and work on your own. Remember, keep it interesting. If you can't trace a whole shape, that's totally okay. But you want to at least trace part of one so that you don't have just a big, giant, empty space. Okay, and do not, not, not put it right smack in the middle and just trace one shape right in the middle because that's boring. Okay, we don't want boring. Okay?